In this video, we're going to look at ring modulation synthesis. Now, I've got one of the 400 waveforms called up. Other than that, it's an initialized patch, and we can get into it either from the oscillator zoom or clicking right on the RM button. Now, ring modulation is similar to frequency modulation, the FM synthesis we looked at in the last video. Now, the difference is the frequencies of both oscillators are multiplied, so it changes the overall amplitude, whereas in FM synthesis, we don't really hear this modulator oscillator, but in this one we do when they're multiplied, and it can actually be thought of as kind of amplitude modulation. Now traditionally, ring modulation is used without pitch tracking, and it gives it a kind of dissonant metallic type sound that's very identifiable, but in Omnisphere, we have a polyphonic ring modulation synthesis engine, and we can enable key tracking, so we can have it track the pitch and get more, you know, sort of musical pitched material to work with. So here's this basic waveform with nothing on it. And I'm going to enable ring modulation. And right away we hear a little bit of phasing. Now the controls are similar to what we've used in the FM synthesis, but let's choose one of the other types of forms here to use. And let's explore what it does. I'll put it all the way down so we can really hear it oscillating. Let's increase the depth. So as with FM synthesis, the frequency controls the frequency of this oscillator, meaning how fast we're going to go through that waveform, and the depth controls the depth of the modulation, meaning how wide the range is that it's going to go up and down through this pattern. Let me use shift and just slow this down more so we can really hear the shape of the pattern. And if I go low, we'll hear barely any oscillation through this shape. And as with the FM synthesis, these notches are the harmonic intervals that work best with the fundamental pitch. And I'm using the shift key for fine movement here to get it right at 250. Now bear in mind, this is with pitch tracking on, without it, this is what it sounds like. Where this modulator oscillator remains at a constant pitch. So let's get this right up to 750. And I've got a little bass part programmed up with this sound, and let's hear what it sounds like with this bass part. So that's working nicely. And we can increase the range of the depth for a much more aggressive type sound. And here we can, as we did with the FM synthesis, sort of go through the shape of the oscillator here and alter it. So we can get a nice, nasty, aggressive bite. And the hard sync uses that second invisible oscillator as a slave. So we get a nice, rich, thick, aggressive type bass sound. So that's ring modulation. We'll see if more in the next video.